Some days are good, others are bad. <laughs> and today was unfortunately a bad one. As you probably already know by the title of the video, maybe something I put before, I don't know. This, uh, this flight was bad. Uh, bad day flying. I think I lost an ESC, which, uh, which caused obviously the motor to stop working and it fall out of the sky. I'm reviewing the video, which um, I'm gonna pop up right here. All right, we're back out in the field, getting everything set up and ready. Tripod's out, got a beautiful morning. And we're gonna go out and try to see if my LiDAR works, see if my Autoland works, and a lot of other features that I've been testing, so uh, let's get this in the air. So as you guys can tell, it's just like another day out flying. I was wanting to do some extra testing today. I wanted to go out and do my LiDAR testing. I was having some complications with it, so I was really excited to get out there and, and do some testing. And as you can see here, I'm going ahead and trying to see if my LiDAR is even functioning, if I can put my hand under it, if the copter will recognize that it's closer to you know the ground or anything like that. But it ended up not working out like that. So I decided to just go ahead and get some get some decent shots around the the fields and it was a really really pretty day until until I came to a hover and everything just kind of stalled. I was looking at my my FPV and then well and then this happened. everything are you was a lot of time, a lot of effort, and, and I'm going to have to go through and diagnose exactly what happened. I saw smoke, and I don't know what that means. I think I might have blown an ESC. I'm probably running too big of a battery on these dinky little motors. But that really, really blew everything up. Yeah, that sucks. All right, well, I'm gonna be interested to look through and see what happened. Wow. My battery's all right. Dang it. Reviewing the video, it seems like, like I still had power the whole time it was falling which makes me think that I didn't, you know, I thought maybe the battery got disconnected, like those uh, those battery wires are pretty close to the props, maybe one hit it somehow, but that was unlikely because I made sure that the props cleared the battery wires. So I didn't think that was it, but it was a possibility. Um, but after watching the video, it sounded like the, there was still power as it was falling. <sighs> so, now I get to diagnose what went wrong. <laughs> Man, this sucks. If you've ever like, you know, if you've ever lost a drone before out of the sky like this, and it's not like a, an FPV quad or something like that. This is this is a thousand dollar, you know, your camera drone. It's got your 
$300 Go or $400 GoPro on it in a nice gimbal and you're just sitting there and all of a sudden poof, I saw a puff of white smoke and it just tumbled to the ground and it kind of hurt in the stomach a little bit if you know what I mean. So I, I want to know, have any of you guys had any experience like this? Uh, comment in this you know comment section below I'd like to hear some of you guys' stories uh, and you know that, that this happens you know everything I do is built from home it's it's kind of experimental I'm I'm learning I'm developing different things and I'm trying to figure out what works best I got different ESC motor combinations battery combinations with different flight controllers uh, different PIDs things like that and sometimes something goes wrong and that's just the nature of the beast, the nature of the hobby that uh, that we're in. So, I don't know. Those are my thoughts. Those are my first initial thoughts. A little sad, but uh, let's figure out what went wrong. Let's let's diagnose, see if it was the ESC. I did plug in the battery before I started rolling the film, and one of my ESCs, this one back here, this motor wasn't the ESC wasn't chirping like it should. This one over here wasn't chirping at all. So this is my guess. Either the ESC went bad or I lost some connections. My solder joints went out. They were bad in the um, connecting to the power distribution board. So anyway, I'm gonna do some digging and I'll get back to you guys. All right, so like I said, one thing that happened is I blew open my um, connector here. When it hit um, on impact, the battery was obviously the what took the most impact. I mean, it kind of it kind of uh, fell on the arms, but uh, the battery was definitely underneath and took a lot of impact. So it went flying, completely just shattered my uh, my connector here. So I'm gonna replace and ripped off my my wires. I'm gonna replace this real quick so I can plug it back in before I really tear it apart. That way I can see you know what's what's happening. I kind of plugged it in and diagnosed some of the ESCs, but. Uh, but I really want to do a good diagnosis now, so let's do that first. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna go ahead and try to plug this in and see what happens now. I plugged it in once before, and I thought I heard just just uh, one, a couple ESCs working. So let's plug it in again. I want to get the landing gear put up on this, if that even still works, and kind of see diagnose what what to do. So let's get the radio turned on. Yapu telemetry ready. Welcome to Orbit TX. All right, here we go. Are you kidding me? Mm. Guys, I put on the wrong ES. Oh my gosh. I put the female connector on when this needs to be the. Or I put the male connector on when this needs to be the female connector. I'm telling you. It's just not a good day. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Stupid thing. Okay, it's time to see if this thing will power back on. Let's see uh, what kind of sounds I'm getting from the ESCs. Yapu telemetry ready. Welcome to Orbit TX. All right, here we go. I'm just hoping I don't see like a big puff of smoke. I mean, I've already done this one time, but it still makes me kind of nervous. Okay, this one's good. So these three are good. This one is dead. Man. Hmm.
I think I see it. I think I see the problem. I'm going to bring you down in here close so you can see. Okay, it is very hard to see in the camera, but this motor has got some residue build up inside there. I'm not sure what it is, but it appears that this whole motor just blew, essentially. Just blew up. Yeah, that's a better angle. You can kind of see in here. That looks like almost like little bubbles have kind of like bubbled up in there. I'm not I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it is some kind of residue. I can't I can kind of scrape it off. It's, it kind of looks like hardened glue, really. But this motor's toast, man. And this thing is, and you can feel it like it's stiff compared to these these other motors. So what it's what it's looking like is I just completely blew this motor out. Now that could have happened for lots of reasons, but what I'm thinking is I had way too much weight for these motors. Now these motors are rated at 380 kV. They're the Terrett motors, 380 kV motors. And I had a 10,000 milliamp tattoo battery on there, which I used to only run like a 4,000 milliamp, or no, 5200 4S. This is a 10,000 6S. I think that's where I went wrong. Um, when I originally built this quad, I also didn't have the arms extended and stuff, so I put bigger props, bigger batteries, and I just think these little motors couldn't handle it anymore, honestly. <sighs> so, looks like it will be time to upgrade. All right, so I'm gonna tear this apart just a little bit more, see if there's anything I can't find wrong. I, it's either the motor or the ESC on this, uh, this arm here. That's kind of my first diagnosis. It's very obvious that this, this, motor, is, this motor is trashed, like it, it, is, it is done for. But uh, let's, let's take a look and see if the ESC has any life left in it. All right, so I've removed the motor, the one that I think is bad and I replaced it on the same arm with the same ESC with uh, one of the other other motors. We're gonna give this a shot and see, you know, if this uh, this ESC starts chirping, then we know that this, this motor is definitely bad. Sure enough, this motor is now you know, twitching, the uh, ESC is chirping. I lost a motor. Okay, I lost this motor. Let's go ahead and see if I can get my landing gear back up. There we go. All right. Well, my landing gear still works. All right, so that's it. Bad motor just blew out on me. And again, I think, I, I'm, I'm almost positive it's because it had too much weight on this uh, copter, too much power running through it. These things say they can take up to 6S. It says 6S4108 KV380. Totally just blew out of me. I got the white smoke, smoke of death, the whole thing just plummeted to the ground. I'm sure, I mean, you've already seen it in my videos, or in my video, and that sucks. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna replace this motor or get all new, brand new motors. Uh, leave leave comments, guys. I wanna know what you're thinking. What, what are your thoughts? Should I get different motors, different ESCs? Should I um, just get rid of this copter and, and do something different? I'm gonna leave links in the description to all my components so you can kind of see what I was uh, working with. And let's hear it, what do you guys think? Also, uh, subscribe and like, and maybe my YouTube channel will actually make some money someday for me so I can replace all these stupid parts I'm breaking. 
Probably not going to happen, but I just like putting these out on the internet. Just maybe it'll help somebody else out so they don't make the same stupid mistake I did. So anyway, happy flying. Built from home. And it's kind of showing, isn't it? <laughs> but next time, I'm going to get out there and it'll be better.